Hey guys, it's Scott back with another update. Uh, I'm showing you the beam to the uh, house where last Saturday I cracked my head and gave myself quite the little concussion. I uh, knocked myself out for about 10 seconds, I guess. Still suffering from a little bit of a headache, but other than that, I'm back to normal, I guess. As Devin say, whatever normal is. Whenever my brain's normal, I'll get him back for that one. <laughs> but anyway, um, as of the last update, I wasn't going to go back to the hobby shop for a while. But the next day, I went back to the hobby shop because I forgot to pick up um, these ta Tailgo uh, adapters for the uh, Tyco trains, which converts the um, old horn hooks so you can put... Uh, the uh, KDs on uh, them so they work fine. It's not too hard to put on actually. And you know, you get 24 in a pack. And I also picked up two packages of uh, these Atlas bumpers. I've already got two put in along here. This is, uh, this, these two tra tracks here are going to be uh, for parking engines. And um, when I was there, I also picked up the uh, brown color ballast. Um, I ended up ballasting mostly the entire layout, but I found, well, this has been remixed, but when I did it, I found it was too light. So I've been adding some more darker stuff. I wasn't going to uh, weather the tracks, but... Uh, I've decided I'm going to, so it's just as well anyway. Thank God I didn't glue it down. And I also went to uh, the hobby shop again today. And I picked up this uh, Armstrong uh, electric uh, uh, kit that you know, most people are getting these days. The only reason I picked it up was because it was on sale uh, for $25. Uh, the only reason it was on sale is because the box is kind of worn. I also picked up the uh, gauge for the tracks and uh, damn near died at the price for a little piece of metal. But I guess when it's precision metal, you pay for it. And I picked up uh, some radius track, five pieces, and some straight. And I also picked up another one of those uh, CN cars for $19. These were trade-ins. You know, they didn't seem to sell them all for some reason. But uh, they've never been out of the box. So not a bad deal, I guess, for 19 bucks. And I picked up some more gray ballast to mix in. Um, apparently this went up $2. I got the last bottle that was marked at $13.99. Things keep going up, but... Yeah, not changing much. So anyway... I also, oh yes, I also uh, got some of the um, wiring done underneath here. Um, so I got some of the uh, droppers all connected to the uh, to the uh, bus, but I all ran out of connectors, so I have to go to Princess Auto, a place here in Canada, to get some uh, connectors, which are dirt cheap. So for now, that'll be it until uh, probably the next time you'll see it. Hopefully it'll be all ballast. For now, we'll talk to you later. Bye.